Hello YouTube, uh, Green Aviation here. Uh, some of you guys know me as JTAD Freak. Um, I'm back with another P3D video. Today we're in P3D uh, 5.3 Hotfix 2. So the latest sim update. Um, I finally managed to get Ortho installed in my sim. Um, so we're here at Albuquerque. Oops. Here at Albuquerque, you can see got some Ortho going on in the mountains over there. Looks pretty nice. Um, I got Bing imagery, Bing source, uh, zoom level 15. Uh, looks really nice, honestly. Uh, really no need for Orbix products except maybe um, HD buildings when you have uh, the ortho installed. Looks really nice, true to life. Uh, I do have autogen on the ortho too. Uh, that was done through scenery proc. You can download scenery proc for free. Um, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, so the purpose of today's video is I'm going to fly around to showcase what kind of things uh, Ortho and P3D can do along with scene proc. Um, and yeah, uh, if I get enough interest on this video, I'll consider doing an Ortho tutorial. I know there's some Ortho tutorials already out there, uh, but as far as I'm aware, there's not one that actually tells you how to get the autogen on top of that Ortho. Uh, I have full trees, buildings, everything on here. So let's pop inside this little command sheet we got here. So let's get the uh, aircraft all fired up right here. Master. Prop in. All right. All right, there we go. Fuel pressure. All right, let's go throttle quarter inch open. Ox fuel pumps on. Get the rotating beacon on. Wait uh, for avionics until we get the engine all fired up. Let's, here we go, hang on. Let's get the fired up. And the honeycomb controls are not working. Here we go. Sheesh, uh, Comanche's being a pain in the butt today. Be better on that volume. Car beat on. All right. Uh, avionics are all on. All right. So. Start our taxi over here to runway three. So this is going to be pretty much fully modded P3D. Um, got all the sliders really. 
to the far right right now, so settings are pretty much maxed out. I'm running a 3060 Ti overclocked along with a i9-10850K also overclocked, in case you didn't know. Uh, so that'll be what I'm using to benchmark here. Uh, sim is locked to 25 FPS, but that's not bad considering these are max settings on 1080p. And you know what, for the sake of this video, we're just going to pull on runway 8 right here, uh, take off from there. Since this is a demonstration video, I'm not going to be doing procedural or anything. Just want to get this up in the air. There we go. So, let's get flaps 1. Even though this isn't going to be procedural, there's one thing I can do quickly. Oops, okay. Let's get the RPMs up to 16. Engine's so cold. Alright, turn on these strobes, the landing. Let's go. Oops. All right. All right. We're going. Running a honeycomb yoke here is a pretty nice experience with GA. Get the uh, landing off, don't need those anymore. Looks like we do have a bit of a crosswind. Start making a left turn out here over the field. Uh, can retract those flaps. What's happening? Alright. Retracting flaps. Get these sun visors out of the way. And I forgot the gear. The slam. Alright. Uh, so you can see this right here is not ortho that comes with the airport. That's actually the ortho that I generated. It blends pretty well with the airport tile right here. Uh, once again, over here. Pretty nice buildings here and there. And you can see here, this is where the airport imagery ends, I think. Let's 
So one sec, gonna go into chase plane, enable scroll zooming. So now, you can see everything. So it's going to be a bit slow getting over there since we're in the command sheet, but I didn't want to fly a 737 out here really. Uh, that would be way too fast and you're not really going to absorb any of the scenery. So I will say, uh, this is probably really useful for VAT sim or VFR flying, since using scenery proc actually puts the correct buildings where they should be. So it's kind of like free old risk vector. You can see, got the city buildings over there. We got some nice warehouses, schools, etc. Oops. Um, yeah, really helps with VFR, makes things a lot more realistic and cool. Looks like we even have some sort of like racetrack right here. So yeah, down below us here is the ortho. Ortho as well in the mountains over there. Uh, these look really nice. Looking at GPU usage, it's at 50% usage, 53 Celsius at 2130 megahertz. Uh, the CPU is at 39% usage, 5 gigahertz at 50 C. Not bad at all. Especially when I'm running like fully maxed out in here. Lots of autogen buildings down here. The only thing I haven't tested, and I can't say it works, is in P3D 5.3, they implemented AI car traffic for all roads. And I haven't actually tried if the cars still go on the roads. So I have that disabled since it hits my performance pretty hard. Um, yeah, my PC, the vehicles, I don't know if it's the lights or what, but I dropped down into like 15 FPS at Fly Tampa, Las Vegas, so that was pretty much unusable. We'll go ahead and fly over towards the mountains over here a little bit, catch the scenery. Before we do that, let me drop this wing. You guys can get a uh, glimpse of the city down here. Alright, let's go over to the mountains. Really smooth up here. This is a nice experience.
making our way over here finally. Not sure why we started pitching up all of a sudden. That's better. The only problem you're going to run into with ortho sometimes, uh, this is in any sim, not just P3D, but you get these little white spots, and these are clouds. So you can import those into like paint programs and kind of delete them off of the tile imagery, but it's a pretty lengthy process, so I try to not do that unless, or just say there's a huge cloud right here and it's blocking like half the mountain. That would look really stupid. Uh, at that point, I'd probably just end up choosing a different source instead of being, I'd choose like USA2 or Fox. Um, over here, looks really nice. Just right here you see uh, this little orange-red looking strip. That's another thing you're going to run into with ortho. Uh, you might need to do color correcting. Sometimes, sometimes like different satellite imagery is mashed together all into one tile. So say this was taken in like summer and this this image right here might have been taken in the winter and they're slapped together. So then you get weird looking uh, color differences and little tiles here and there. So yeah once again you can open up paint and kinda layer over that with colors and that's easily fixable more so than the clouds. So moving over here, we can see the mountains. These look really nice. I mean, watch out, Microsoft Flight Sim, because we're coming for you. Uh, P3D V6 ends up getting ortho imagery like this. Uh, there's a lot of people requesting ortho imagery for P3D V6, which should be upcoming here in the next probably year. Uh, but if we get the ortho imagery, it's going to end up looking like this. So expect your sim, if you're not willing to go to these lengths to get this scenery, expect your sim possibly to be looking like this in like a year out of the box. Like they. If they did like something like MSFS did, they would be out of the box ortho imagery for the entire world. Uh, I just have ortho imagery for this small area. I have Albuquerque to Phoenix ortho right now. I am generating more for uh, DFW to Austin and Atlanta to Raleigh, so might possibly report back on those how they turn out soon when they're done. They're still going right now. Uh, I could do a stream maybe, do a southwest route. Let me know in the comments. So yeah, this is pretty much ortho. So now we're going to return back to the airport. Uh, we're going to get to overfly all this stuff again. So much autogen. I'm surprised uh, P3D can like run all of this. Because at heart, P3D is still FSX. So when you think about that, it really puts into perspective what this game is. Although it is 64 bit stuff, so. really nice.
going to start descending back to get to the airport now. Alright, so Albuquerque's gonna be right over here. Right there. Really nice. Let's go ahead and check up on the PC again. GPU is at 47% use, 55 Celsius. Uh, VRAM, I forgot to mention, is at 5 gigs out of 8. Uh, the I9 is at 32% at 50C. Uh, one thing I've been looking out for and haven't actually noticed yet is scenery popping with the ortho. Uh, it's not evident, at least on my system, so I haven't seen like blurries and then I fly over them and um, come into focus or anything like that. Or textures unloading and reloading. So none of that on my PC. Get the landing lights back on here. Flaps going to be one. Might need this on shade in just a second. Gear. Gear. Okay, thank you. Mixture. I'm gonna leave that. Not going for it, it's just because of the field altitude here at Albuquerque. Going flaps full. Alright, over the threshold. Whoa, yoke stopped responding there for a second. Idle. What the hell?
finally. Brakes. Gonna be taking a high speed. E? Can we stop? Alright. Uh, stopped a little bit long, but we're gonna be going here anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna make you guys sit through me going all the way back to where I came from at that GA ramp over there. Um, I'm gonna end the video here. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you guys want to see a ortho or P3E2 tutorial, I'd be totally fine doing that. Could hopefully help some of you guys get ortho and autogen and you're uh, prepared. Um... So yeah, uh, leave a comment if you want me to do that, and I'll look into that. So thank you guys for watching this little ortho reveal and uh, benchmark around Albuquerque. Hope to see you again soon. Peace.